What do people really think about Aboriginal Australians? As I see them every day drinking. Get off your ass and do something if you want to escape your plight. I don't think you can just uproot culture. Years they'd lived in harmony on their land. Frankly, it should have died out, like the Stone Age. I don't connect to that. It's their land and we've taken it from them. Happened a long time ago. We all need to move on. There's just been too much BS about Aboriginality, culture. We love to be disrespectful to other people's culture and races. It's almost like sport. Six out of ten Australians have had little or no contact with Indigenous people. This group of well-known Australians represents that six out of ten. All with strong opinions, they've agreed to leave their everyday lives behind and embark on a unique journey deep into Aboriginal Australia. Here we go, people. Actress Nikki Went. All I know is that if I'm in a mall and there's 30 black guys and me, I'm frightened. Singer-songwriter Natalie Imbruglia. I want to get the truth. I don't just want to be spoon-fed an opinion. Television personality Ian Dicko Dixon. What happens if I find out I'm just a dirty big racist? Former Miss Universe Australia Renee Eris. I've been spat on, I've been abused, and that's all I've seen from them. Comedian Tom Ballard. We live in a progressive society, and progressive societies care about the most vulnerable and disadvantaged people. Former One Nation politician David Oldfield. Aboriginality is just unnecessary. It's not really in the best interests of Aboriginal people. Guiding this group of outspoken Aussies is award-winning journalist Ray Martin. These six people have no idea where they're going or what's in store for them. Get it up here. But given their strong opinions... Taking yeah. someone on face value is evidence. It's certainly going to be challenging, if not confronting. Enough is enough. If you feel uncomfortable with me being here, I will just as happily leave your land. For 28 days, the six will face their fears in a world they'd never imagined they'd see. Everyone should go down that way. Big crocodile out there. The group's preconceptions will be challenged. I'm in jail. They'll be tested in extraordinary situations. As far as I can see, it wasn't reacting. I thought that maybe he was dead. Their beliefs confronted. Forcibly removed. How is that right? Well, it's not right. Their emotions pushed to the limits. I've got a fucking heart. You're not going to change a freaking thing. Open your eyes. Follow six Australians on a journey that could change their lives forever. This is probably the worst toilet in Australia. I didn't think I'd see people living this rough. So you don't have anyone in here with a life sentence? We might do. Oh, is that his guts back there? It's quite confronting, isn't it? To what end? What is the so motivation? So you don't care if it's not true, is that what you're telling me? No, it fucked up his life. Just because you're willing to turn a blind eye no, this is crap. Get out of my house. I don't want you here. First Contact starts Tuesday, 29th of November at 8.30 on SBS and On Demand.